Um, they moved up to 6A going into our senior year. We got to play them. Like It was like one of the first couple district games. Mm -hmm. And um, it was actually a game, one of the first games without Sam. So, because he had gotten hurt, but it was it was so a pretty good game. Sam? Ellinger, oh, our Ellinger, quarterback. Yeah, right. yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, okay. Um, but it was a pretty good game, but we ended up coming out on top. So that's all that matters. You said they made the playoffs last year, maybe? Vandergriff? Yeah. Um, I'm not sure. I'm not aware of Vandergriff football that, that much, but I know. Uh, Westlake did. I think we went to state last year. Okay. This past or last so that's season. That's a pretty so. fast try. Yeah, that's I mean, all, you, all those teams can play. Yes. So, yeah. Yeah. Uh, for sure. So what's this like for you this week and Saturday and all that? Now? Um, I mean, it's just another game. You know, yeah, really? not obviously just another game, but uh, that's how you have to treat it. You, you have to go in preparing for whatever they can throw at you, um, and just getting ready for the opponent. So. How big a deal is this for them? I mean, their season maybe isn't going the same, you know, the way they wanted to. How big a deal is it getting USC? And um, I think it's a huge game for them just because of us giving them a loss last year out here. Um, but just like any other team, you don't ever want to lose a game, no matter who it is, if it's a rival or non-conference game or whatever. So I think they're playing the same way. And um, we're just looking forward to see what's going to happen this Saturday. So, huge game for USC too? Yeah, I mean, obviously, like I said, it's, that's another game. And you're not going to want to go into any game like, oh, you're not going to care about this game because you treat every opponent the same and, and whatnot. But, I mean, just like, we, uh, just like I said, like, we're coming off a loss. Um, so we're hungry. You know, obviously, we don't want to lose them from here on out. And we're just going to come with everything we got. So. Uh, how do you keep it under control? Like, how many, how many family and friends and that are you gonna have there? Um, I mean, obviously my parents, my sisters, some cousins, so like that. I know I have friends who come to the game, but I mean, it, it's it's nothing new. I've had I've had family members come watch me before, so I like the fact that I'm gonna be able to put on a show for them as well as. SC fans, so. Do you know, how many players on the Texas team do you know? Um, I know a handful. Handful? Yeah, I, I grew up with Bregan Hager and Sam Mellinger. I've known both of them since I was little, so those are probably the two closest. But I do know a handful of other guys on the team. Do you guys have any time at all to say hey to friends? Like um, in person when you're there? Um, I mean, maybe after the game. You know, obviously if we're on the field at the same time, okay. like we're going to – and notice each other and stuff, but I mean, well, on this trip, it's, it's business, you know, until the game's over, and then when it's over, if, if we win, it's great. If we lose, let's go to the next week, you know? So, um, yeah, I mean, it's cool that I, I get to play with my friends, but they're not friends on the field, you know? I can't treat them like that. They're just another opponent, so. How many guys, if you had to guess, do you know on that football team? Um, I guess, I'd be like 10. Okay. You know, I know from when I was younger, I knew a lot of other guys, older guys, because my brother, he played for UT, but like obviously, as I'm getting older and even in college, I'm I, I know guys, but not as well as I knew the other guys. You know? Yeah. So, yeah. is that atmosphere going to be challenging for you guys? Um, I mean, any any away game is probably challenging, especially on the road, and especially with uh, but going Stanford to a was big environment. I mean, hardly do anybody who's in the stands at Stanford, so this is going to be a little different than that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Stanford is Stanford. It'll, it will be packed, but I mean, like. No, I mean, just like, you, you, that's not the only stadium you've been to in your life. You've been to Florida State. I mean, how loud does Darrell Royal get? Um, I mean, it gets loud. I've, I've, I think the loudest game I've been to is when they played West Virginia. Yeah. Um, back in like 2013, 2014, maybe okay. or something like that. 2012. Yeah. I don't know, but um, that was probably the loudest I've heard it. And it was really loud. But I think this week, with the, the uh, magnitude this game is bringing mm -hmm. to college football, it's going to be one of the loudest it's seen. Levi, thank you.